Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Croak today. We're gonna be going over the top 10 best convertibles in GTA 5 online right now. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Let's get into it. Coming in at number 10 is a Fister 811. Is that a game is part of the 1.34 Further Adventures in Finance and Felony update on June 28th, 2016. Comes also in a topless variant with the option to add or remove the roof when customizing the vehicle. How to get in GTA 5 online, it is no longer able to be purchased in game, but when it was, it was $1,135,000. You can still get it from other players at the LS car meet where it's possible to buy a copy of someone else's vehicle. The top speed when fully upgraded is 132.5 miles per hour. Going to performance, the 811 performs phenomenally with a light body, all-wheel drive, and great aerodynamics. The car has extreme acceleration, beating all motorcycles and non-electric supercars. According to the files, the vehicle's top speed is on par with the T20, being the joint third fastest car in the game. In reality, when observed, the 811 is even faster than the X80 Proto, Adder, and even the Banshee 900R. In other words, the 811 is observably the fastest supercar in the game. This makes the 811 extremely competitive in races with long straights. Despite this impressive straight line performance, the 811 can be a handful in the corners. Massive understeer makes it very reluctant to rotate into the corner, which is then followed by sudden oversteer while applying power out of the corner. The car also suffers from extreme traction loss, making it a difficult car to drive in some races or even races in wet conditions. Number nine on the countdown is a Dinka RT3000. Is that the game is part of the 1.57 Los Santos Tuners update on July 20th, 2021. As a tuner vehicle, the RT3000 can be set to a lowered vehicle stance and have low grip tires applied at the LS car meet, which makes the car slide more when drifting. How to get the RT3000 in GTA Line? You can buy from Southern Super Autos for a price of $1,715,000. There is a discounted price of $1,286,250 which is unlocked every five reputation levels randomly. The top speed when fully upgraded is 119.25 miles per hour. Going to performance, the RT3000 has a good top speed and acceleration, but is hindered by extremely poor traction. It will wheel spin massively on hard launch, which negates its good acceleration capability initially, but once the vehicle is on the move, it catches up to the vehicles ahead pretty quickly. Due to its poor traction, it suffers from massive oversteers and unstable characteristic when turning around corners despite having precise and sharp steering feel. Braking seems to be the strong suit of the vehicle as it halts the vehicle from high speeds in no time, even being the best vehicle of its class, the Calico GTF. Despite its poor traction and its characteristic to oversteer, it is one of the best vehicles to be used for drifting. As precise steering allows the driver to point at which direction the car is moving quickly and the characteristics of the vehicle makes it easier to initiate a drift without any other inputs. As all one will need to do is turn left then right quickly enough for the rear end to swing out and catch its back with a counter steer. Thus it would hold the drift extremely well. Coming in at number 8 is Enos Windsor Drop. It was added to the game as part of the 1.34 Further Adventures in Finance and Felony update on June 7th, 2016. How to get it in GTA 5 online? You can get it as a bonus reward or it can be purchased for $900,000. Be unlocked for free as a career progress reward by completing Tier 4 in Further Adventures in Finance and Felony category. The top speed when fully upgraded is 118 miles per hour. Going into performance, the car performs similar to the Windsor, having a large amount of power, but in conflict, a large amount of weight to pull. The car has an excellent top speed, but acceleration is limited due to the rear-wheel drive layout, weight distribution, and lack of traction in the tires. The longer wheelbase makes it harder for the car to corner, however, its turning radius isn't changed majorly. Number 7 on the countdown is a Fister Common S2 Cabrio. Was that of the game as part of the 1.58? Contract update on January 6, 2022. How to get the Comet S2 Cabrio in GTA Line? You can buy it from Legendary Motorsport for a price of $1,797,000. The top speed when fully upgraded is 129 miles per hour. Going to performance like the Comet S2 and similar to the Comet Retro Custom and the Comet Safari, the vehicle is powered by a flat six engine, evidenced by the six pipes seen on the underside of the car, coupled to an eight-speed gearbox in rear engine, rear wheel drive layout. The speed is slightly above average, but the acceleration is really key behind this vehicle, along with the aesthetics of the vehicle. It looks amazing, has a decent top speed, and the acceleration is 
above par. The braking also is above par, so this is a must-have in your arsenal. Number six on our countdown is the Bravado Banshee. It also comes in a topless variant with the option to add or remove the roof when customizing the vehicle. It's one of the few vehicles eligible for a special HSW performance upgrade at the LS Car Meet exclusively to PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, which is considerably increases the top speed. How to get the Banshee in GTA 5 online? You can get it from Legendary Motors for and Benny's original motor works for a price of 105k. Also, the HSW conversion cost to upgrade the Banshee is $1,840,000. The top speed when fully upgraded is 117.75 miles per hour. Going into performance, its overall performance has been altered rather dr dramatically, including a conversion into the Super Class rather than Sports. Both acceleration and top speed have been increased, however, care should be taken at tight corners as the vehicle is likely to oversteer and spin out due to overwhelming torque at low speeds. What makes the car such an influential vehicle compared to super cars in its way? It behaves when modified. In stock form, the vehicle's performance is not nearly as dominant as when fully upgraded. Massively down to the extreme multipliers, to the EMS engine upgrades have in comparison to other vehicles in the game, progressing the car from a relatively slow top speed to one of the highest in the game. On the downside, the vehicle has a rather strong amount of drag. Coming in at number 5 is the Class A Mamba. The game is part of the 1.31 Executives and Other Criminals update in December 15, 2015. It also comes in a topless variant with the option to add or remove the roof when customizing the vehicle. How to get it in GTA 5 Online, you can buy it from Legend of Motorsport for a price of 995 k The top speed when fully upgraded is 117 miles per hour. Going into performance, the Mamba is powered by a high displacement V8 apparent by the website description, sound, and in-game model. The vehicle has limited traction around tighter corners that would require the use of a handbrake, meaning the car takes a relatively long time to set off without wheel spinning. While the car has average traction, its steering is pretty sensitive, though an experienced driver can recover spins out easily and thus does not pose much of a problem for the vehicle. The car has a high top speed reach in a relatively long amount of time, and braking is pretty fair. The car's traction means the car takes a while to come to a full stop. It has fragile durability and can only take a couple of hard collisions before the Mamba's performance becomes affected. Number four on the countdown is the Vapid Dominator GT. This out of the game is part of the 1.43 Southern Super Auto Sports Series update on May 8th, 2018. Be purchased from Southern Super Autos for a price of $725,000. The top speed when fully upgraded is 108.5 miles per hour. This car aesthetically looks very pleasing along with the speed when fully upgraded is decently good. The acceleration is above par, but it lacks in braking. The handling is above average, but overall this car looks very good and handles very well. This is great car to have in your arsenal and it has a lot of customizations to be added to it. Number three in the countdown is the Grotti Carbon Zare. How to get it in GTA 5 online? It has been removed from the in-game stores in June 2023 and currently has no longer can be purchased in GTA Line. Its price was 195k, but you still get it from other players at the LS Car Meet where it's possible to buy a copy of someone else's vehicle. Going to the top speed, it tops out at 119.5 miles per hour when fully upgraded. Going to performance, the Carbon Zare is a fairly middle of the road sports car with good acceleration and top speed. Its handling is very well balanced between understeer and oversteer, making it easy to drive and hard to spin out. Understeer is more pronounced at higher speeds but is easily manageable. Crash deformation is acceptable compared to other sports cars but it won't take many collisions from for performance reducing damage to occur. While very well balanced in its entirety, the Carbon Zare's lack of distinction makes it a fairly meager choice for a racing vehicle. Overall, the Carbon Zare is a solid choice for newer players, but lacks potential in more skilled hands. Number two on the countdown is Overflood Entity MT. It was added to the game as part of the 1.64 LS Drug Wars update on December 13th, 2022. This is one of the few vehicles eligible for special HSW performance upgrade at the LS Car Meet exclusively to PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, which considerably increases the top speed. How to get it in GTA 5 online? You can buy it from Legendary Motorsport for a price of $2,355,000. 
HSW conversion cost to upgrade the entity MT is 850k. The top speed when fully upgraded without the HSW improvements is 131.25 miles per hour. With the HSW improvements fully upgraded, it comes in at 150.5 miles per hour. Going to performance, the engine model appears to be a single overhead camshaft V8. Evidently, by the exhaust manifold seen when the rear bonnet is removed and features inner coolers located directly after the side intake, suggesting the car is turbocharged. The exact same engine model is found in the Kshida and the Turismo R. Overall, it has a great top speed. Acceleration is also amazing on this car and the braking is above average. This is a definitely must have in your arsenal of cars. Topping the charts is the Classy Vigoro ZX Convertible. It was added to the game as part of the 1.68 The Chop Shop update on December 12th, 2023. The Vigoro ZX Convertible is a variant of the standard Vigoro ZX base model. It's one of the few vehicles eligible for a special HSW performance upgrade at the LS Car Meet exclusively to PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Now to get the convertible in GTA 5 line, it can be purchased from Southern Super Autos for a price of $2,295,000. The top speed when fully upgraded without the HSW conversion is 125 miles per hour. With the conversion of the HSW improvements, it tops out at 158 miles per hour. Going to performance, the car is powered by a single cam V8 engine coupled to a six-speed gearbox in a front engine rear drive layout. Its engine sound is generally high revving and loud. Share with the cars like the Big Row, the Dominator, and the Ruiner. This car has a great top speed and even better acceleration. The braking is also amazing on this car and the aesthetics of the car are very pleasing. There's a lot of customizations and it's also an HSW car which makes it even faster. So this is a must have and this is why this vehicle tops the chart. If you enjoy the video, please smash the subscribe button, like the video and comment down below if you bought any of these cars. I'm Croak and I'm out. Thank you